Paul McCartney and John Lennon found themselves entrenched in a tumultuous battle of ideals when it came to selecting the Beatles' manager. McCartney staunchly opposed Alan Klein's appointment, raising concerns about his management style and treatment of Yoko Ono. Lennon, on the other hand, was drawn to Klein's support for Ono's career, viewing it as a crucial factor in his decision-making process. This fundamental disagreement highlighted deeper rifts within the band, reflecting differing visions for their collective future. The dynamics of the Beatles' interpersonal relationships were further complicated by Klein's perceived alignment with Yoko Ono, whom McCartney and George Harrison had previously kept at arm's length. McCartney's discomfort with Ono's presence within the group underscored broader tensions surrounding gender dynamics and the band's traditional all-male dynamic. The introduction of Klein into this volatile mix exacerbated existing divisions, setting the stage for a clash of egos and priorities. Despite warnings from Mick Jagger regarding Klein's contentious management history with the Rolling Stones, Lennon remained steadfast in his support for Klein. McCartney's advocacy for his future father-in-law, Lee Eastman, only deepened the rift between the two songwriting partners. Their differing approaches to decision-making and management further strained their already fragile relationship, fueling resentment and discord within the band. The culmination of this power struggle came with the Beatles' reluctant acceptance of Klein as their manager, a decision that left lingering doubts and resentments among the group members. McCartney's reluctance to rush into the appointment reflected his cautious approach to change, while Lennon's persistence underscored his desire to assert his influence within the band. Ultimately, the hiring of Klein marked a turning point in the Beatles' trajectory, signaling the beginning of the end for the legendary band.